Myra's got a baby now Dream on, girl Myra I'm Nanette Shore. I live in New York City and I'm an attorney working uh, for social justice and for um, individual human rights at an organization uh, located in, in the Bronx section of New York City, the Bronx Borough, uh, called Legal Services for New York City's Bronx Office. Um, outside of my workplace, I'm also uh, deeply involved in a project called the Project for Integrating Spirituality, Law, and Politics. So I like to think of myself as a social justice activist. Myra, love. A mother's precious dream she has. Oh, Lord, make them come true, please. Dream on, Myra, have your way. So I'd like to say a little bit about what LSNY is. So the, the Legal Services Corporation, which provides our federal funding, it's about half of our funding, was created in the 1960s as part of the War on Poverty. It was created by Congress. It's funded by Congress each year. And we have uh, sister organizations all over the country in urban areas and rural areas all serving very low income people and providing them with free civil legal services. So we don't do criminal work. Our work is civil. We defend people uh, against foreclosure on their homes. We represent them in proceedings with their landlords related to uh, rental payments, their uh, tenancy, uh, repairs on their apartments. We represent them in seeking public benefits um, that will help support them. So we advocate for them. We try to re uh, challenge uh, sanctions that might have been improperly imposed on them. And in general, we try to imp improve their economic quality of life and well-being. We also uh, practice in the area of family law, where we represent victims of domestic violence, um, or we sometimes called survivors of domestic violence, who uh, we try to help seek uh, self-sufficiency, independence, protection and safety for both themselves and their children. Um, we also assist uh, and represent parents who are involved in the child welfare system, whose children have been removed uh, from their care and placed in foster homes and we seek to support the parents um, and to help them uh, through legal advocacy to reunite with their families. Our practice is focused on serving vulnerable people. 14 year old baby got a baby, got a baby. Dream on girl, Myra have your way dream on really grows out of commitments that um, have been with me since earliest childhood. I've always been someone who has really thought a lot about um, justice and equality and also empathy and compassion and, and even love for the other. Um, and in some measure, it comes out of my uh, Jewish traditional background, which uh, embodies principles such as justice, justice shall you pursue, love your neighbor as yourself, um, trying to live and embody those principles. And so as a child, I was always an activist. I was always involved in something related to um, care for the other. In college, I, I, I also continued that, uh, that, that, that strand of interest. I uh, took a course in modern political movements and studied Gandhi, and that was very influential with me. And uh, did work after I graduated college as a community organizer, um, doing door-to-door -door work and trying to bring people together and nurture people's leadership and in, in independence and self-empowerment. And it was those principles that made me feel that becoming an attorney was really the, the next way to carry, the next step in carrying forward those principles because I felt that I could have a deeper impact on people um, 
as an attorney, I could use the courts to um, to 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 help people express these these points that were so important uh, about safeguarding their dignity and their um, basic human rights for shelter, for food, for a sense of well-being and connection to the. Uh, to, the, to their society. So that's really the why of, of, of why I've been doing this work for many years. It's, a, it's sort of a life's work, if you will. Billion dollar question, you know, why do we see this disparity? It really is poverty and poverty. I think if you, if you look at the data, you look at the um, percentage of students who are being suspended and where the schools that they're coming from, it is the low income communities. And there is your own research that is talking about the, the significant physiological, psychological effects of uh, poverty, which is you know, exposure to income insecurity, exposure to housing insecurity, exposure to uh, food scarcity, and not to mention violence in the community. One of the areas I'm most deeply involved in is education law, which is an area I supervise. And in that regard, we represent young people who have disabilities. We try to help them um, get more support services that will assist them in improving their educational um, opportunities and their performance in school and give them a chance at, uh, at a fuller life. Um, we also assist, uh, represent students who have been suspended and who are um, being put through the di school discipline system. Our office's approach is what we call holistic. We try to look at the whole person. We, um, we not only address the issue that the client came in with, but we seek to see what identify what all the interrelated issues are that are affecting that person's life situation. Uh, we might set them up with social work support, counseling, and other kinds of assistance. Another important component is our focus on having a broader impact because people's life situations are often stem from systemic problems, not just issues that are individual to them. And so in that regard, we uh, endeavor to impact the systems that are affecting people's lives. Lynette Shore and Peter Gable are the mother and father of Paisla. I met both of them at the same time about 20 years ago at a Michael Lerner conference in Washington, D.C. At that conference, they rounded up lawyers that formed the initial Paisla group, and I was drawn to their vision. Over the years, they have been the heart and soul of PISLAP. They continue to inspire me, as I'm sure they will inspire you. Lynette has been the keeper of the flame. The Project for Integrating Spirituality, Law, and Politics, or PISLAP as we call it affectionately, uh, was created in 1996, and I was one of the founders of this organization, or this movement really, I would like to call it. And it's a movement to bring more healing into the legal culture, to recognize our interconnectedness as human beings, our interdependence, and our shared aspiration to co-create a more loving and caring society that both safeguards social justice and people core needs and yet also uh, delivers a measure of community and a recognition of our connection to each other. So within that frame of reference, the uh, PISLAP organization fosters processes like restorative justice to heal social disputes, uh, mediation, uh, change the quality of legal education to make it more humane, and also uh, make reforms in the practice of law on a day-to-day -day basis. And this project is very, very important to me over the years. It's given me hope, it's given me heart, it's given me a sense of balance when I'm really struggling with the work, the difficult work I do in legal services, to feel that there's a big picture that I'm working for. 
I've met many wonderful colleagues through this work, and we are a worldwide movement, although we're mostly based in the United States right now. A mother's precious dream she has, ooh, Lord, make them come true. In my work in legal services, I have the opportunity to work with law students, with young lawyers, with uh, people who are coming into the profession, and in my uh, work at PySlap to work with um, students and with uh, lawyers who are really breaking ground, breaking new ground, as well as activists in general, because working with social justice activists who are doing community organizing is very much part of the work of co-creating a movement. So I see these projects um, both my in my work life and my personal life as really seeding a new generation that will uh, integrate their understanding of uh, our mutual in interdependence with their sense of social justice and they'll do it in their own unique holistic way, but I'm, I, what I really enjoy is helping to generate those conversations and being a part of all, all of it. Dream on.